Hi, my name is Sylvia Sanchez, and I'm a master's student in the Environmental Health Sciences Division in the School of Public Health. Today, I will be discussing my research on hormone receptor activity in human serum. I am working for Core C of the Superfund Research Program at UC Berkeley, and this project is led by Dr. Daniel Nomura and Dr. Martin Smith. The area of my work, I mainly focus on this concept known as the internal exposome, and I study how biological molecules such as estrogens and androgens that come from your diet, from toxins, and from other exposures play a role in disease. So you may be wondering, why is this important? Why does this even matter? And so estrogens and androgens are normally associated with sexual reproduction, pregnancy, growth, and development. And so when th there are abnormal hormone levels in circulating in your body, this is bad and it can result in excessive cell proliferation, birth defects, and problems with your immune system. In the worst case scenario, this could lead to cancer, uterine cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, and others. So how can you detect receptor activity? I'm using a luciferase cell-based bioassay. Why? It's rapid, it's sensitive, and it's relatively cheap. So what more could I ask for? The way this assay works is that we take serum, which is the liquid component of your blood after it's separated from your blood clot, and you place this on bioluminescent cells. Now these bioluminescent cells will emit light because of this luciferous enzyme. And in order to detect this light, we place this into a machine. And as your receptor starts binding to hormones and hormone-like molecules in your serum, light will be emitted. So the greater the light intensity, the more receptor activity that is taking place. My serum samples come from the lollipop study. The London Life Sciences Prospective Population Study investigates mechanisms underlying heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. In my preliminary results, I, sh I show that Tamils and Telugus, with our, which are two Southeast Asian populations living in London, have increased estrogen receptor activity compared to their European white counterparts. So could the increased estrogen receptor activity explain why there's an elevated risk of cardiovascular disease in Southeast Asian populations? Well, like Hamlet once said, that is the question. And so I hope that by continuing my research on this receptor activity, I can shine some light on this matter. Thank you.